all right guys welcome to this new section so in this section we'll basically be looking at uh, publishing options in uh, cocos creator so we'll get through a number of them i will perhaps pick uh, four or five um, different platforms to publish in so in this first one we'll talk about uh, publishing for web desktop and then in the next one we'll talk about publishing for web mobile and then we'll talk about releasing for android and then we'll also talk about releasing for facebook and then we'll talk about releasing for um, for windows so one of the great things about cocos creator is that it's um, it, it, it offers great great support for publishing to lots of different platforms so i'm just using um, a simple game that i that I have used in one of my courses. So this is basically the one I will be previewing. So just a simple game where what I That's basically what we'll, that's the example of using. So to build, just go on project and then go to build. And then here you have a whole lot of um, possibilities. So in this one, I'm talking about releasing for, for the desktop platforms. So your laptops and your desktop uh, platforms. So of course your title is supposed to be set in this first option. And uh, here the name of the game should be uh, set. But um, on the platform, uh, in this case, in this tutorial, I'm starting with web desktop. As you can see, there's a whole lot of um, uh, platforms to deploy to, um, some of which I won't even cover in this series. I will just talk about the ones that I find useful. If you guys want me to cover any particular one, you can uh, put it in the comments. And um, as you do that, yeah. Uh, remember to throw this video a like. So in this case, I'll talk about web desktop. So publishing for web desktop, basically if you're releasing your game to be played um, online on a website and you expect that people will be using their laptops and their desktops to play this uh, game. So of course you select web desktop. The beauty is that uh, this uh, this uh, engine, Cocos Creator, does all the necessary work for you. So um, whether, whether to use WebGL, whether to use HTML5 uh, Canvas, um, um, or even uh, using OpenGL when it comes to the Android platforms, it does all of those things in the background. For particularly using uh, Web Desktop, you won't need to install anything uh, for you to, uh, to build. So insert your build path there. By default, it's going to be dot build, meaning it's going to build in the folder um, where your project exists. Otherwise, you'd have to come here and select which folder you should uh, build to. In this case, I've got a custom location uh, in drive D. Okay, so this is the one, Cocos build in local disk D. Okay, so this is the folder that I'm releasing to. Okay, so besides that, you'd have to set your start scene. So in this game, I just have two scenes, the main menu, as well as the actual game scene where the gameplay is happening. So in this case, um, the menu scene is the first scene that loads, right? You don't jump to the gameplay. We go to the games, uh, to the menu first so that the player can see um, this start button and, um, of course, the top scores and stuff like that. So... You could, if you had a lot of scenes, you could include and uh, remove some of the scenes from here. Uh, in this case, um, I only have two, so of course I can only uncheck uh, one of them. Um, since the menu scene is the start scene, I can't uncheck this option. So in this case, I will go with both. Then of course, we've got these two options here um, in line. Uh, or sprite frames, I will not talk uh, too much about it, but um, especially for for web games, 
if you want to use uh, if you want to package all your sprite frames in one uh, in one package this could be a little bit helpful um, if you're dealing with web all right because this would mean that all of your resources your pictures your sprite frames would be packed into one file so this would reduce the number of uh, network requests the number of HTTP requests that get sent out from the browser which could um, in theory it could speed up how fast the, the game loads um, when it's loaded online okay so this is for sprite frames then the second one is for the start scene uh, basically if you want it to uh, to have all of the files all the JSON files that are needed uh, for the start scene okay this is also going to be disabled by default but it can increase um, the size um, if, if, if enabled and um, it might also um, increase um, just a little bit the, the CPU usage but the idea is so that all of the assets that are needed for the start scene uh, that they should be loaded automatically so I will also, um, I'll, I'll leave this one right um, like that. I recommend that you check this option. And then um, this one, if you want, you can check it. If not, um, that's fine. MD5 cache. So if you guys know uh, something about MD5, MD5 is just a, a hashing algorithm. And um, in this case, if you are trying to use um, uh, a CDN, Okay, a CDN um, that's going to keep all of your um, your hashed uh, resources. In this case, um, you could use um, uh, MD5 cache so that um, some of those resources are not uh, loaded uh, from scratch. They can be um, stored um, um, in hash. You need to uh, you need to include um, a single line of code somewhere. So I will not talk about this option. As well, um, it's, uh, uh, you, you could you could get away um, without using it. If you are using some sort of hashing, uh, perhaps you could um, you could think of enabling this option, but you don't need it for you to 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 run this. Then, of course, the resolution of your game, right? Um, the resolution of your game, your width and height, and then of course you could see your your preview um, URL. So. Building with Cocos Creator is pretty straightforward for web when you click build. Okay, in this case, it's going to create the folder in Cocos build. Then um, I, will, I, will, I will show you what that looks like. For those of you who are, are web developers, you will understand this a little bit uh, further. So since it's done building, you can basically click play and this will preview the game. Okay, so you can see the name of the game there, and uh, this is basically what the game um, would look like. So, this is how it would run if it took it online. So, in this case, if you are uploading your game, you can see the game is now running. If you are uploading the website, um, the game to your website, you have to go to that folder um, where we built it. So, for me, it's Coco Space. So, because this is what I think, Coco Space is this one.
click your play and see what the website uh, would look like. The one for the game. And that's the